Hey guys, Peter from Giordano's Gift and Garden, uh, coming to you from beautiful Seacliff, New York. And today I just wanted to share a quick video about not getting discouraged about actualizing your dream garden, right? And allowing us to help you with your landscaping. So often we get customers that come in and they're actually surprised by the variety we have about certain plants, right? For example, last week I talked about coleus, how it's mostly a shade plant, but we also carry a sun-loving coleus as well. Or maybe um, customers are surprised that we not only have hydrangeas in shrub form, but we also have them in tree form, right? Or they really want a specific type of plant, but they don't have enough room for it. Well, usually plants come in dwarf varieties, right? So if you want a specific type of plant, we will help you make it work. That fits your landscape, what you want, and the conditions of your yard. And I wanted to share a quick story about something that happened last week. We had a customer coming in uh, who came in and she wanted a crepe myrtle tree, which of course is, why not? Every, <laughs> crepe myrtles are beautiful, they're popular for a reason, um, but she had a few problems. First of all, it was below a power line, right? And she was worried about the upright growth of, of a tree reaching, you know, uh, interfering with the power line. It was also in a bed with sun lovers, right? And if you plant a tree, it will provide shade for the plants around it. And also sometimes a tree's root systems can uh, be problematic for smaller plants around the tree because they can get choked by the root system because um, they're competing for water, for nutrients, etc. right? But she came to us with these concerns and you know, we have a solution for her. We suggested the enduring red uh, crepe myrtle shrub. Here it is. As you can see, it's just like the tree variety, but it's in a shrub form. Okay, this one's called Enduring Red. Gets about four and a half feet tall, about four and a half feet wide. You can plant one for an accent. You can plant them in a hedge. And these are actually a reblooming variety. They'll bloom all summer. You can see here the red tips. It's, it almost looks like the plant has the plants on fire with these like bright red and orange tips of the plant just like the tree and like I said they rebloom for all of summer now like the tree they will shed their leaves in the winter and come back every year okay and what separates a crepe myrtle at least in, sh in shrub form from a lot of other options is it's rare for a full sun plant like this one um, to have this much color and not require a lot of water. This does. This is actually drought tolerant once it's established. And so, if you have a if you have a dry, sunny spot, if you're looking for some summer color, um, definitely consider the crepe myrtle shrub form. Like this one, we have the enduring red. It's one of my personal favorites.